Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here today. I have for you another slow cooker Sunday. I'm so excited about this series, guys. Like I said before last weekend, um, I just love slow cooker recipes, especially when fall rolls around and winter. So now that it's getting like more like fall outside, school is back in session and fall vibes are happening. I am looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the cozy fall weather coming up here. Let me know down below if you are as well. Anyways, guys, if you like videos like this, Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And if you're not part of my YouTube family, hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future slow cooker Sundays. And let's just get into this slow cooker apple cobbler. So I'm so excited to get into this recipe with you. So I looked over a handful of recipes on Pinterest and I grabbed out pieces of recipes that I liked and I kind of made my own recipe up. So this is my version of slow cooker apple cobbler. We got the apples. I'm using ginger gold apples because we recently went to the apple orchard next to where we live and picked fresh apples off the tree. It was so much fun guys. I have a video of it that went up yesterday and we picked the ginger gold variety which are kind of like a little bit tart. They're a little bit sweet. They're kind of like a mix between a Granny Smith apple, like a Gala, I would say, kind of like a mix between those two. So I am gonna add a little bit of sugar to this recipe because I think it'll be perfect with their tartness just to like bring that down a notch. So we have a bowl of apples. I don't know how many I'm gonna use yet, but you need six cups of sliced peeled apples. So you're just gonna want a good apple pie apple, which are like Johnny Gold, Braeburn, Gala, Ginger Gold, Granny Smith, whatever apple you prefer for your apple pie. That's what I would recommend for this recipe. You need a stick of butter. I'm using salted butter because I always use salted in my apple pie. And then you're going to need some ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of that, ground nutmeg, just a little bit of it, one eighth teaspoon, and then some brown sugar, one fourth cup of that, and a box of cake mix. You can use white cake mix, but I'm choosing to use yellow because I just think it sounds like it'll have more flavor. You could also use the spiced cake mix, which is out around this time of year and then you're gonna need some cooking spray for your slow cooker and that's it guys it's just a super simple recipe so let's get going on this apple cobbler So I'm just gonna slice up these apples really thinly and then we're gonna get them thrown into the crock pot with the cinnamon, nutmeg, and sugar. So you're just gonna thinly slice them. Just remember to spray your slow cooker um, just for helping with sticking and cleanup. And guys, I'm being kind of dangerous by coring the apple with a paring knife. If you're not comfortable with that, I definitely recommend just like using an apple core. Um, I've just been doing this since I was like pretty young, so I'm really comfortable with it. And I haven't sliced my hand off yet, so <laughs> hopefully I don't, right? Hopefully I don't do it now that I said that. To cut apples really quickly, I really like the method of like turning it over and then slicing it really thinly like this. It just has always helped me out when I make apple pies. And you want your slices like pretty thin like that. And then I'm just gonna throw them in there and I'm gonna eyeball about six cups and then I'm gonna stop and whatever I don't slice up, we'll just eat for snacks later. All right guys, so I used seven apples because I started out with 10, so I'm just gonna throw these in the fridge and now we're gonna put all the ingredients in there and get it going. Now we are going to 
add in all the goodies to make this super yummy. So we're gonna add in one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're gonna do one eighth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And this is gonna give it like a warm spice. It's like really nice. I love nutmeg. Okay, and then I'm gonna add one fourth cup of brown sugar packed. Now we're gonna add in the one box of cake mix. Guys, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of cinnamon because I think that'd be like really nice to have a little sprinkle of cinnamon on top. So you're just gonna cube your butter up into small cubes and dot that around the top. All right, so that is literally all you do. And then you're gonna cover your crock pot and you're gonna set this on high for three to four hours, depending on your crock pot. Some crock pots cook faster. Mine actually heats up pretty quick, so I'm gonna check it around three hours. Also, you could do this on low for six hours, and then we're gonna see what this looks like when it's all done. All right, so the apple cobbler is ready. It's been four hours, so it did take four hours, and it is smelling so good in my house, guys. Like, so good. It smells like a candle. I'm gonna get this dished up and get some ice cream with it and let you guys know how it is. That is so good. It just tastes like a really good cobbler. The apples are perfectly soft and it's not too sweet. It's like just right. Highly recommend it. Go make yourself some of this apple cobbler. Let me know down below if you're gonna try it out. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. Say hi below. I love to hear from you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys. Girls, what do you give the cobbler? Uh, all the numbers in the world. What? All the numbers in the world? What about you, Javelin? I haven't tasted it. Oh, you haven't tried that cobbler you're eating your ice cream? Okay, taste the cobbler and tell me what it gets. Okay, oh. I give it. What do you give it, Jav? Two all the numbers in the world and 100,000. Whoa! All right, guys. Well. You heard it from the kids' mouths. They gave it all the numbers in the world, so. Kids tell the truth, right?